Yeah, um, we're going to do this video. I had a, I had a video um, earlier that I did, so hopefully I can, uh, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, recap on some things, uh, you know, on my video or whatnot. But I had a nice video, so hopefully I can recap on some things, man. Uh, I'm going to sit back here, and sometimes I like to um, smoke a little cigar. Sometimes I like to sip a little bit, but I ain't got nothing to sip. I said I ain't going to do nothing today. But, um, but... The topic was, you know, pureness and perfection. And um, <clears throat> why I came this about, I've been, you know, kind of evaluating these puppies the last couple of several litters I had. And um, some of my, man, shh, some of my uh, my outcross stuff been kind of, they've been cutting, they, they've been coming on quicker than, than the brood stuff, you know. And not saying that... Um, you know that 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 I'm gonna go away from the brood, or I'm gonna go away from the pureness of the blood. But again, I like I like the, the you know keeping the pureness, and the, what's what I've been having big success with out of these dogs is you know doing the the inbred and line bred stuff on the bottom. So now I'm just gonna. Um, I'm gonna go the other way with it. I'm gonna put the the inbred on the bottom and then do the line bread on top. So, but uh, the the main topic of it is you know pureness and perfection. Now I'm just looking at everything that I've been breeding and I've been observing. A lot of these dogs they've been uh coming out. Excuse me, let me light up this thing. Hold on, let me get this thing right so I can get get to this dang on video. <clears throat> Light up this cigar. All right, now let's get back on on schedule. But um. Yeah, but I've been um I, I thought this would really be a good topic to, you know, discuss and a good um, you know, uh, a good selection of a title um <clears throat> pureness and and uh uh perfection. You know, um my thing is, you know, staying with the pureness um there we go. Staying with the pureness of your of your strand, of your bloodline. I think sometimes we 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 shy away from the pureness of the bloodline that really some of them dogs and foundation dogs that um that we had that to make certain dogs but you see a lot of uh, old school breeders that's why they go back to certain things like going back to certain dogs like uh tutors diebo for example i'm gonna just use him for an example um you got a lot of the maloney stuff coming off the greenwoods maloney dogs that bred the greenwood dogs that's where they started the foundation but all that stuff goes back to the diabo stuff when you look at the maloney's too maloney's uh what's that other dog name i can't remember but like i say i just be digging in there studying and um you got them dogs and then you got some of the like like uh um boudreaux's uh billy blind he was off of you know some of that tutor stuff you got some old carver stuff that's off uh diabo Tutors die bowl. So, you know, but what I'm saying is you got to keep that pureness down in there in your bloodline in order to get where you need to get to. That's like, you know, when my outcross, instead of me going out to something else or adding something else to it, I went back into the family. I went back into the family. Like, for example, I took um, my lackeys, Brit X, uh, Sinclair, Jade to, um, uh, Sinclair's uh, Frankie Knuckles to ex um, Wilkins Jews. So Frankie Knuckles and, and Jay was half brother, half sister off uh, Mr. November. Sinclair's Mr. November. So I went back in there and made awesome dogs. And so pretty much I took uh, Obsidian. He's he's a you know brother and sister breeding on top and bottom from uh, Goya Bean. Uh, Mr. November and his little mate sister made Goya Bean and then uh demon Lido and um alexa they made alex the great so what i did is i took a um i bred them two which it was aunt and uncle back together so that's the pureness and then i took 
him back to some of my females. So the first breeding I did with him, and that's why I say the pureness, going back to the pureness that was pure of the Sinclair's bloodline. Now, granted, it, it still had a uh, Slim Jim, but like I say, Sinclair preserved that man's bloodline. When he got out of it, had a big issue with some things, had some stuff going on, because we all do. Life life tend to bring a curveball. So he preserved the line, but he was coming back. He came back a couple years to come back and get some stuff and restart some stuff. But anyway, long story short, I I kept the pureness, the, the, the line pureness. I could have bred my, you know, uh, Wilkins Jew to it, some more stuff around here that I like, that I like, you know what I'm saying? And could have made good dogs, but I went back into the family because I appreciate what the family has to offer a good dogs down up in the, uh, his pedigree of city. And so I didn't really uh, quite naturally do that breeding. He just got loose and got stuck. And then whenever she had the puppies, man, she, them puppies started coming out fire. Man, they was coming out, man. Like I say, my homeboy, he got one. Uh, right now, all he wanted to do as soon as he get out, when we let him outside that cage or inside of the cage, I had to break him up and separate him from all the rest of the dogs because that's all he wanted to do. The prey drive was there. And um, so, but like I said, you have to keep that pureness inside of your, your, your line because I feel like if you go outside of that pureness of keeping them dogs down up in that gene pool, man, you gonna, you lose a lot of good dogs, man, and you lose a lot of a, a lot of good key uh components like uh good traits and all that stuff in them dogs when you go away from the pureness and that pureness is is going keeping them dogs pure to a certain extent it, even even if it's 50 50 you know what i'm saying you're still keeping it mm-hmm so and now I'm looking at that pureness where I'm keeping it, keeping it in there where I'm just, you know, doing, like I said, the line bread on the bottom and the inbred on the top. And I'm also with the line bread, I'm keeping it out in there too. So I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing three methods of inbreeding, line breeding and, and keeping the out strong in there. And I think that's, what's really been working with me so good. So like I said, I'm going to, do it the opposite way i'm gonna try it on the on the, the line bread on the on the top which will be um one of my dogs i bred in my very first breeding like uh the lackeys brit to jade i'm gonna take um <clears throat> uh sinclair's christina um karma back to her nephew which is ralph which is uh wilkins ralph wreck it ralph i'm sorry i'm gonna take them back together Let's see, when I very first did uh, Wilkins <clears throat> Jews back to her uncle, which was uh, uh, Sinclair's Frankie Knuckles, I went back into his peer of dogs. I went back into the peerness of his dogs, man. I didn't go away from it. And I felt like it was going to be good um, to do that. And, and sometimes, man, we got to listen to our gut feeling to do certain things with these dogs, with the breeding part. And um, the perfection is, is sitting there getting out all the flaws and, 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 and the blemish and all that stuff out of them, out of them dogs. Like, like for, for, for example, I know I'm trying to reach perfection, but these dogs, sometimes, you know, these Sinclair dogs, they, they act a little skittish. So I want to breed that out. I want to be able to have, you know, if anybody I don't care who they is, if they come to my yard, my family, they don't just, you know, kneel down or nothing like that. They should be able to be welcoming, wagging their tail. That's how the, the game is American Pit Bull Terriers should be able to wag their tail because they want somebody to rub them. They want somebody. So that's one of the traits that um, I have to get out, and that's a bad trait that I see because they act, they act skittish. I don't want that to happen because, you know, never know. When you got somebody, you know, got a kid up there and them dogs acting like that. And then soon as them dogs, soon as the kid or somebody turn back around, they trying to bite them. I don't want that. Not saying that it happened, but Frank Sinclair's Frankie Knuckles, he was a dog like that. He would nip at you, but he wasn't, his intentions wasn't to bite you. But I told, I always would tell people uh, before if they try to go, I said, I wouldn't trust that dog because I don't know how he act. He good with me. Even he tried to nip me a couple of times, but he wouldn't try to bite me. He would just nip. And I don't know. 
So I, I definitely were trying to break that 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 trade out of there, but I'm still keeping that pureness. So I am trying to just really really figure it out far as or how I want to do it instead of just going like they did, you know, keep out cross. I mean, not keep out crossing, but keep on brood stocking. I don't know if I need one one or two brood stock. Now, like I got my 75% um, female off of November. She is a 75% female. And then I got, um, and then I got uh, uh, my other stuff that I wanted to breed. One more brood um, breeding that I really want to do is uh, obsidian with one of um, Sinclair's Chris, uh, Christina Karma. I want to breed one of them back to the obsidian to one of his daughters. So then that way it'll have three blends in it. The three blends will be uh, Mr. November, uh, bred to Gizmo, Mr. November bred to uh, Hudson Maria and uh, Mr. November to be Mr. November um, brother and sister. Uh, which is Goya Bean. He got the Goya Bean on the bottom. He got the Demon Lido uh, and Alex on top, which is a brother and sister. Then you got the Maria Hudson stuff. You know, her, 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 her offspring's down up in there, that breeding. So now with that breeding, I'm keeping it pure because I can procreate with that. That one breeding, I can procreate everything that I got right over again with that one breeding with that one dog i come back and i can breed anything to that dog and still make good dogs that's why i say you have to keep that pureness alive because it's it's, it's very um it's, it's it's very um i what word i want to use it's very it's very um it's, it'll be very great or very excellent or superior to keep that 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 pureness in, in in your in your dog with your strand of dogs because you want to keep them traits locked in with that pureness and like like I said some of the old breeders they did a lot of that stuff man they did a lot of that stuff like you had different dogs offer uh to the dabo but then they went back back into uh some stuff like that's why you see why the carver and Boudreaux go together so good because when you look down in carver stuff he got dabo down up in there he got Dabo, and that's why they made a hell of a hell of a cross because they got that one dog that's down up in there, that's giving out high quality traits from mouth to you know uh, durability from wind to you know whatever. But like I said, and then now we're gonna talk about a little bit of perfection. What I'm seeing now, I want to um, get that perfection is to breed out more quality. Than, than to have you know them flaws or or them blemishes in the in, in the breed where if the female have eight I at least want to you know have six out of that eight to come out that's that's very good solid bulldogs and I believe I could do it with keeping that that pureness and that perfection going together like keeping that balance in between instead of just going heavy 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 on a dog like my old Sidian dog for example I don't need to. I don't need to double up on none of his stuff. Now I am doing a repeated breeding off him and Jules, and I'm gonna breed back to um to to his son Wilkins Lido. I'm gonna take a female out of that and breed them, and see that'll be another inbred that I don't done off of that. But like I said, I like to implement three breeding methods all together: is inbred, line bred, and keeping the outcross in there. And I feel like I'm going to be real successful with it. And it's more good dogs that's going to come. That's why I named this this video uh, Pureness and Perfection because I think a lot of people, they start messing up whenever they start going outside of the dog, the pureness of the, of the, of the strand or the pureness of the bloodline. They start going outside of going to another good dog. And I say sometimes that ain't bad. But sometimes it ain't good either because now you still maybe one breeding may not lock in them traits like you want to. You see what I'm saying? One breeding may not lock them traits in. But I know with that Obsidian dog, he has a lot of the Mr. November traits up in him on top and bottom, which Mr. November was a good producing dog. He throw out good working dogs. He throw out dogs with good mouth. I ain't going to say excellent mouth, but I know Obsidian um Daddy Alex the Great Wilkins Alex the Great was a small dog. He had good mouth to be small as he was. Good mouth, good mouth. I'm talking about good mouth. And um, 
you know, like I said, man, I'm just I'm just trying to do it right. And I feel like um, in order for me to, you know, keep that that uh, uh, that line of Sinclair dogs going and now, which is just my blood, Wilkins blood, I got to keep that pureness going. You know what I'm saying? And now what I'm going to do is, like I was telling you, um, I'm going to keep um, I'm going to do the inbred on the bottom with with the Sinclair's Christina Karma back to her nephew which is <clears throat> the line bread and, 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 and the outcross still up in there because uh, Wilkins wreck it Ralph is he still got the outcross from Lackey's Brit. So I want to keep that up in there. And like I said, once I one once I did um, uh, Sinclair's uh, Christina Karma brother, half brother, uh, which is um, Sinclair's Frankie Knuckles to his niece, Wilkins um, uh, 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 Jules, man, they, she, she had six puppies. And Alex the Great, which he killed like two of them. And then um, he well, actually he killed three of them. He killed three of them mobs. Um, and then I, I sent one back to my homeboy. And uh, I forgot what we called that little joker. I don't forgot what we called him. I think we called him something. We didn't we didn't even get him. He didn't even get his papers on him yet. But like I said, this dog was already, man. Once I got him back, I had. I got his uh, his uh, his first cousin back to Wilkins Terror. He had him because I gave him a dog because he he gave me some dogs. He gave me Frankie Knuckles. So I was like, shit, when I breed, I'm going to give him this dog. And I gave him, gave him the dog off of Wilkins, Alex the Great and Wilkins Kiara, which came as Wilkins Terror. I gave him him, but after he had his situation and and I was able to get them dogs back, man. And I had let him out one time and this dog was like right around five months. He was already acting showing signs early that he wanted that had that high prey drive but anyway make a long story short that breeding went well i put that together and i wanted to see but again i don't want to go too pure with it because then you start going too pure you you, you will start seeing some of the some of the signs of seeing the 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 lack of them dogs they stop stop creating um, they start just, this, this overdose is what I'm gonna call it. Overdose of bad traits may come by doing too heavy on the dog. So I just like the way I got it now, well, the way I've been doing it, keeping it pure, going back to the pure blood, blood or a pure dog that has that stuff in there. And, um, and I was able to get out some success, man, with, with doing that. And another breeding I did with my second breeding, what I done was, um, I went back to the pure uh, uh, Mr. November dog off the brother and sister, um, Sinclair's Goya bean and I bred Lackey bread, man, them dogs came out so awesome, man. And so now I'm just moving into that perfection part. The perfection is seeing these dogs, um, kind of breed out of that, breed that, uh, that, uh, <clears throat> that skittish in, you know, even though the little pup Wilkins, uh, Lido, he's, he got it in him a little bit, but I think he's going to be fine. He going, it's going to eventually come out of him. So, and the more of these other puppies they got, they all they come all up to everybody. But when your dogs just see you all the time and nobody else, that's all they see. Sometimes it's just hard to to you know for them to welcome you in. But majority of the time, you know, uh, Goya Bean, she was heavy, Mister November dog, but she was always welcoming to everybody. And how inbred she was, I mean, <laughs> from the from Mister November Daniel's son, all them dogs was no, uh, inbred like three generations down. So I, I don't mind keeping that pureness, man. I think you, you can have a big success in, in, in having pureness, man, in, in your line, and you can thrive with having that pureness. And I think a lot of breeders now these days, they they tend to um, have lack of that, that, that inexperience as far as going back to, to something. Yeah. Nah, not yet. This unlock it and I get it. What is it? But um, yeah, that's my lovely wife, man. Oh, but she's a she's a definitely a big support to what I'm doing, and now she's starting to really understand how the love and the compassion I got for these dogs, and that's what I always wanted to do. And um, I'm just telling y'all a little story while I got like 19, I'm up to 20 minutes almost, as I always wanted this because I seen a lot of dogs back back in the heyday was great dogs, but a lot of like my uncles and people that he knew that I knew through my uncle, they didn't preserve good dogs and they had a lot of good stuff back then. 
uh, from from the metal and stuff. Um, they probably we probably had some Red Boy up here. I'm sure they probably did because Red Boy was born in North Carolina, but they didn't ever preserve that stuff, man. And them dogs die out, or they let it go to some some people that's supposed to preserve it. Some of the some of them guys they went off the you know they had to do some 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 federal time, and the next thing you know you come back. To, if they had to do a couple years and you say, man, where this dog at? You ain't have him, man. He ended up dying. Like, so they don't take that stuff serious. So now with the three guys that's, that's gone from Sinclair to Slim Jim and Fresh, man, I got to take that serious because I feel like I owe them. They work so hard, especially Sinclair, man. He worked so hard to have a good strand of dogs and, and, you know, right in this little town of Iredale County, which is Statesville, North Carolina, man. Um, a lot of guys that wanted his stuff, he, but they would always talk about him behind his back. You know what I'm saying? So they'll want your stuff, but then they, oh, I don't want. And when they meet him face to face. Yeah, I heard about this dog you had, man. I heard it's going, you know, just that and the third. So that's why he was able to teach me a lot of stuff. And now I'm really just seeing it when I think back on it. And when I'm looking in his pedigree, I was like, man, you know, I'm, I'm making good progress. I'm making good steps. I'm making, um, I'm making, I'm thriving and trying to get that perfection. And I think when that perfection hits, you'll see good quality out of your dogs when that perfection, every litter, I want to be able to have phenomenal. I don't care what I put together, what type of blend combination I put together. I want to be able to have that, 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 that pureness and that perfection behind that pureness. Um, and like I said, I, I'm, I'm doing, a lot of the, the three breeding methods that I like to say, you know, uh, the inbred, line bred, and implementing on the out, keeping the out in there just as well. You having art, you having science, and you having anticipation. So now what I'm doing now is I'm anticipating you know, all the things that I don't put in, the time that I don't study this pedigree. And I still get in there and study. I still get in there studying. So now what I'm studying now, when they very first did the very first cross, is they got the Hudson Shea Lee dog that that produced uh, the Hudson Maria dog and uh, the McDaniels, um, uh, they call them Rojo, Rojo something, Cataline, Rojo Cataline, but they first bout, that was their first battle cross, Sinclair's and Slim Jim stuff put together. That was the first battle cross and how these dogs are kin, they go back to the Damien's Blake dog, but these two lines are different. The Slim Jim has more, a little bit of this, that, and the third added in there with the Lonzo Greenwood, Eli Bolio. And then the the the, the, uh, the Sinclair stuff has, you know, more, more of the Greenwood packed in there and bred with a little out of the Budweiser that's in the fourth generation. But like I said, them dogs, <clears throat> two of them, two of them, four of them dogs that make up the uh you know that first battle cross what they get you got the uh dan danny boy and betty bop which is a brother sister breeding which bred that that mcdaniel's uh rojo dog and then you got the the um the sinclair's uh hector and uh sinclair's natalie so what he did is he did a uh um what he do he did a he did he bred both of them sinclair's hector and sinclair's natalie he took one litter, a male out of one, and the female, and that's how you got the Hudson um, uh, Shea Lee dog. And so it was inbred. Both of them dogs were inbred. But like I said, but but the, the Slim Jim is more heavier on the inbred side than the Slim, the Sinclair. Like I say, the Sinclair guy, he really preserved his line, kept his line thriving, did some good things. Now, he did some heavy stuff, too. But so whenever I got this line, I, I I said this would be a good topic to talk about because keeping that pureness alive in them dogs. So what I'm saying, the pureness is meaning you got some of them breeding they did, like some of them dogs, they still got some of that Danny boy that's like 25% down up in there. They got Daniel son, some of the breeding got 25% or maybe 18.75 when you look at the uh, pet, stat, uh, pet stats. Um, and you keeping up that pureness down up in there, them 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 traits locked in or them dogs locked in, so that way you you could be able to still have them 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 good competitive dogs down up locked in, 
even when whenever I uh, outcross this other stuff to, to whatever I want to do, I still have one of that 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 obsidian dog. He have all that locked in, man. And um, I I say you have to have that pureness, man. And then when you get that pureness, and then you have that perfection behind that pureness, you're gonna make good quality dogs. And I start understanding that. But I had I had another video. I think I. I think I did pretty good on this one, but I was trying to recap, but it was, I went a whole different direction, but it's all right. But I, like I said, I got to tip my hat off to my boy, Sinclair. He did a wonderful job and every video I'm gonna mention him because I feel like if I never got in touch with him or I never uh, was able to see one of his dogs back then, um, it, he had a paper dog named uh, Sinclair's Lita Lights Out, man. And it had to come off that uh, Sinclair's Hector and uh, Sinclair's Natalie, that female was, man, jet black, man, boy, that female was, she was about 30-something pounds, man, you talking about something that was just high sprung and, and, and just energetic, man, and I wanted one of them dogs, and then when I got and seen him out, you know, roaming in the town, he like, I ain't breeding, then about three, four more years after that, I seen him again, he, he had a litter, he was dropping, because he told me, he said, man, I ain't gonna breed about three, four more years, so I was able to acquire one of them dogs, man. That was the best thing I ever could do. And now I'm really understanding, man, um, having that pureness and that perfection going hand to hand with one another. And uh, like I say, man, keep, I'm going to have to keep saying it over because the pureness, man, you got to keep that pureness in order to keep them, them good traits and them good qualities down in them dogs with the high prey drive, the, the mouth, all that, et cetera. And then keeping that perfection where you, you not uh, going, overdosing or overboard with with heavy breeding even though i could go i could i could go the same route they could go you know what i'm saying and still think i could do a good job but i like the way i've been doing it with the with the inbred line bread stuff man and still having an out two in there so i've been doing three methods instead of just focusing on one method and um just inbreed 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 off one dog but i did breed obsidian man this is fourth time breeding. I bred him to, well, he bred his own self to Wilkins Jews. They came out with some good dogs. With that, I did a repeated breeding on that. Then I bred him to um, Sinclair's, uh, I'm not Sinclair's, but Wilkins, Brittany. Um, that makes them half brother, half sister on the top. And then it makes them second cousin on the bottom. And then I bred with um, uh, Wilkins. Uh, <clears throat> Sky's the limit, which they'll be half sister and brother on the top and then third cousin on the bottom. I think that's that'll be her. That's our first breeding. She's she like two and a half. She'll be three in uh, uh, November the 25th. We're going to see how them puppies and puppies will be dropping pretty soon. But I said I wasn't going to do a lot of videos of dropping the pups. I'm going to just put pictures this time because I ain't going to waste no time because I'm going to be having uh, so many litters coming back to back. And uh, cause I really wanna, um, I think the I don't I about figured it out. I still gotta add a little bit more salt, a little bit something to get that recipe. To, you know how, how a recipe is. You know you you got you 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 have your people around you testing it first before you even just really just put it out there. So, but again, a lot of these puppies I'm gonna go with the old school prices with a lot of these puppies, um, the three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars deal. Even though I know these puppies they worth more than that around thousand. But um, I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to get some dogs out of some good hands. And, uh, man, we're just going to go from there. And I feel like, you know, this was a good video. Um, pureness and perfection, man. You got to have that. You got to have that. Um, a lot of people, they shy away from going back into the family of dogs, man, that made dogs. You got to keep that alive, man, I feel like. Because in order to have a good, successful kennel a good successful kennel or doing out good dogs you know like gardener stuff for example you see a lot of his stuff off china man like frisco uh the frank white dogs a lot of people they'll mix them dogs up together because they know they already gardener's dog but they still you keeping them traits locked in you know you might have a heavy frisco dog then you got on the bottom it'll be like you know uh arrow jr on the bottom so they keeping them traits locked in and so it's a pure gardener dog but just blend it different or a different combination. So that's what I've been doing with this. And man, it's 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 all uphill. It's all uphill, man. Um, I, I, you know, I think about this stuff constantly. I put my time, my effort, uh, you know, 
and, and blood, sweat, and tears in this stuff, man. And um, I think you know I'm 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 really gonna I'm I'm gonna really be on the top, you know. Um, and that's what I really want to reach. I really want to be reach reach the top, man. And uh, like I said, I'm still young. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to you know go back to the drawing board. I ain't acting arrogant. Arrogant. I ain't acting like I'm better than nobody. I ain't trying to compare myself to none of these kennels. And I salute to all of them, them great kennels out there that's been doing it, having them dogs, them family of dogs, solid. They, they You know, I, I see a lot of good dogs out there, man, family of dogs, man, and I like. But like I say, we're going to do it over here the white way. We gonna, It's a win for a win when you get one of these dogs. And hopefully, man, you know, I keep getting good results from people that's, that don't got dogs from me, man. That's all I want to hear. I want to see the customer smiling. I want to see his family or her family smiling. And, uh, you know, we just, just going to keep keep it going, man. And like I said, I'm going to be pushing a lot of litters out. I got one about to drop next month. And I got another one probably going to be dropping uh, probably about two months after that. So them puppies probably be be ready to, you know, all of them get out to good hands. And then before this other, then I got another female that I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to go with some heavy lime bread stuff. I really want to see how this stuff going to mix in. So I'm going to get a dog that I gave this person um my mother's uh she called her her sister you know how people meet people um so i'm gonna go get this dog wilkins uh carlos i gotta get the papers on them though gotta send it off because a lot of them um them goya beans and lackey brit i'm mean, lackey brit dogs i didn't put papers on them you know but i can go i'm gonna go ahead and get the papers on them and stuff like that and uh and I'm going to breed back with his half sister on the top. And then they'll be first cousin on the bottom. So I'm doing, I'm putting my first litter together and my second litter together off of Lackey Brit. And um, Sinclair's Jade and um, Sinclair's Goya being able to put that back together. And then I'm going to breed Ralph back to his uh, his niece, which is Wilkins Tara. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to take a male and a female and breed that. I'm going to do like four generations of line bread. And then I'm going to turn, when I do the four generations, I'm going to turn back around and put um, Ben 10 back up in there, uh, which that Red Ranger. I'm going to put um, uh, Sinclair's uh, Christina. All that stuff. We're pretty much as a, a, a Mr. November dog, a heavy Mr. November dog off that line bread. I believe I'm going to be have a big success out of that. But that's years to come. Uh, but I am going, I'm, I got another, um, breeding I got in mind, my cousin, he got, uh, the dog that I'm getting ready to go get, it's litter mate sister, which her name is, um, Wilkins, uh, GI Joe. And, um, I'm a, I'm gonna probably breed her to Ben 10. Cause that, that's the only blend I haven't done yet with that, um, Hudson Maria and, uh, Sinclair's Christina. And um, Sinclair's Red Ranger, I'm going to put that back up in there. I haven't did that yet. So they'll be like, um, they'll be like uh, first cousins, matter of fact. Yeah, they'll be first cousins. So like I'm doing another line bred, inbred, and still I got the out in, in, in that, that um, the uh, Wilkins um, G.I. Joe female, which is Lackey's Brit and Goya Bean is her parents. So I got the out that's still up in there. So I'm implementing all three of them, the inbred line bread and the, the the out that's still down up in there i think that's gonna be a good success man real good success so i ain't gonna talk y'all head off um i really enjoy giving y'all content man and I, I appreciate the guy um when he told me he was just like man he said look you got good content but just slow down a little bit and breathe so i took heed to him what he told me and I, i'm a big i'm a big 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 believer you know you take heed when somebody giving you some you know giving you um, um, some information that really could help you out. So hope y'all really enjoy this. But like I said, man, we got some litters that's going to be coming. So, you know, a lot of people reached out to me, but a lot of people didn't get something. And uh, but these puppies, man, right now, man, I can't even let them be. A, they all they want to do is hit each other. The last litter out of uh, Wilkins, Brittany and, uh, and uh, Wilkins Obsidian. That's all. Excuse me. That's all they want to do is hit, hit each other. So we got I had to separate them. And uh, man, it's, it's just watching a beautiful thing to watch this, to watch that 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 perfection come, watch that perfection come, man. Beautiful thing, but uh, all wheel kennels of the Carolinas, man. We at your services, you know. We gonna continue to you know push the to breed good dogs, to breed competitive dogs, to breed high quality dogs, and and so forth.
But y'all have a good Friday night, man. I'm hoping y'all going to love this. Man, I think I put some time, some emphasis. But like I said, I tried to recap on the video. First video was pretty good, too. But, I, I man, I had it. But something happened to my phone where it came up. It stopped. And I had a lot of more stuff to say. But I don't went about 35, 40 minutes, man. But it's, it's going to be some beautiful things, man. And uh, like I say, I, I want my name to be, you know, I want my name to be out there, man. We're going to use these dogs. We're going we're gonna to go to this this this. Hopefully, I can put a dog in his Tom Garden uh, pig pick in a confirmation thing. I'm going to try to be getting ready for that. And especially when the springtime coming, I'm going to be trying to really work on that. And uh, I'm going to get a lot of insights. I want to be able to have the dogs jump in the wall, maybe get in the weight pulling. And I, I'm just going to be going, uh, just going to go heavy on on what I love to do and my passion, what I love to do with these dogs, man. And so, yeah, but we're going to continue to do it the right way. Uh, we this This video is not... Um, that we we don't condone in doing nothing illegal. It's all for the love of the breed. It's all for the love of the breed. My my conquest is to make this dog America's dog again. And uh, like I said, um, we we just definitely gonna 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 go get it up there. You know, we we gonna keep 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 it afloat man and we're gonna keep doing some big 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 things man some great great things we definitely are and um i'm a true firm believer that we're gonna keep sinclair dogs we're gonna keep them working man we're gonna keep them thriving and the craziest thing about it man that's why i'm trying to push these dogs out because a lot of people don't got this stuff other than most of his family members and 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 a little bit of outside people but a lot of people ain't got this blood so i'm trying to make a name for it you know, trying to make a name for it. So, all right. Y'all have a good, wonderful Friday. I'll holler at you. Hopefully, I'll do another video on some other stuff um, that I come to mind. And, um, you know, we're going to go from there. I got a, I got another video, probably plenty more videos. When my mind set on something, I'm, I'm going to make sure I manifest some things, some good things, some great things that are coming in the near future. So, like I said, I got several breedings that's coming back to back. I know I got... Um, obsidian and um sky's the limit breeding i got uh obsidian and jewels uh, litter that's a repeated breeding breeding and i'm gonna have uh um wilkins uh gyra uh and um wilkins carlos that'll be and then i got uh when tara come in heat i'm gonna breed her back to her, her uncle and then whenever uh uh cc my love 75 mr november female come in i'm gonna breed her so that's like let me see one two three four five that's five breedings and um and so forth man so i definitely got it man i'm trying to trying to push to be great and the only way i'm gonna do it is if i if i, if I stay in my own lane and um you know appreciate what i got what these family of dogs that I got and, and do it the right way. And I feel like implementing what I said I wanted to do, the inbred, line bred, and outcrossing, if I implement these things, I'm going to come out with some fantastic dogs. Fantastic dogs. Now, I might, whenever I line bred my stuff, uh, with his stuff, line bred it uh, four generations, I might double up on uh, either uh, Ben's 10 stuff just to double up on it because I don't line bred you know, um, them four generations, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I might double up on his cause I got all them other dogs that's locked in, you know what I'm saying? Four generations, but I might do that. I think that's probably what I do. And, uh, like I said, I'm hopefully I'm gonna get some, some, some good words from, from Ben 10 brother Ruben. Um, I'm hoping I get some good stuff. I supposed to get a pup back off him. Um, you know, but I ain't gotta tell you what, we just gonna see it when it comes. Hey, we going uphill. Let's go. Appreciate y'all listening. Take out the time to listen to me, man. I hope I gave y'all good content. Hope I serve my purpose. And, um, you know, comment. And um, like I said, if y'all give any type of, uh, you know, dumb comment or say something slick out your mouth, I'm just going to erase it. I ain't even going, you know, I ain't even going to uh, just comment if you say something dumb. 